Greetings to all. Today I'm going to discuss two widely recognized treatments in regenerative medicine, PRP injections and stem cell injections. Did you know these regenerative therapies are quite different? Stem cell treatment is hailed as a cutting-edge medical technology of the future. So, what are the differences between PRP injections and stem cell injections? What are the differences? And why is stem cell therapy considered to be more effective? Today, I will clarify these distinctions for you. Let's start by understanding PRP injections. PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, refers to plasma that is rich in platelets. This means we extract and concentrate the platelets from our blood. We then inject this into the area needing treatment. Platelets play a role in healing wounds and aiding tissue regeneration, so you know they are quite effective, right? Now, let's talk about stem cell injections. Stem cells possess the ability to regenerate damaged tissues and can change into other cells when required. Filtering stem cells from one's own blood is gaining attention. This is the main topic today about PRP and stem cell injections. PRP and stem cell injections are both treatments that assist in regeneration, but the main difference is in the quantity and quality of the stem cells used. Certainly, PRP injections can aid in healing damaged skin or joints, but stem cell injections are fundamentally better at regenerating tissues. Stem cell injections are getting more attention for their strong regenerative abilities. Let's now examine the differences between PRP and stem cells. Comparing PRP equipment with stem cell extraction equipment reveals a huge difference in stem cell quantity. There's a big difference in stem cell numbers. Stem cell quantity is measured using the CD34 marker. Stem cell extraction equipment pulls out much more CD34 than PRP equipment. This is crucial because a higher number of stem cells leads to more powerful regenerative effects. Furthermore, a vital aspect is the extraction process. Stem cells must be extracted with a centrifuge and the temperature during this process must be controlled. Maintaining a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius is crucial as it helps prevent cellular damage. Stem cells are highly sensitive to temperature variations. Our research and various lab tests indicate that higher temperatures during centrifugation increase the risk of cell membrane damage. Therefore, it is said that maintaining a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius is extremely important to prevent cell damage or degeneration caused by heat as cellular metabolism slows down. Extracting at low temperatures is essential because it helps suppress unnecessary enzymatic activity, thus preserving the quality of stem cells. In conclusion, maintaining a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius is important for maximizing the survival rate and functionality of stem cells. Having such equipment is crucial for us at Lydia, even though it comes at a high cost. <laughs> There is another special reason for stem cell injections. Since they are drawn from your own blood, there is no concern about immune reactions. Secondly, without a culturing process, the risk of contamination and side effects is lower, and the stem cell quantity far exceeds that of PRP, enhancing treatment effectiveness. Having received KFDA approval, the most challenging globally, boosts our credibility significantly as many studies support stem cell therapy's potential. I believe this could be a groundbreaking technology that transforms the future, similar to how antibiotics brought about a medical revolution in the past. Stem cell therapy could change medical history, much like antibiotics did in the past. It is very significant. Both PRP and stem cell injections are branches of regenerative medicine but stem cell injections feel like a step further. What do you all think? Please share your opinions in the comments, and if you want more information like this, please subscribe and like.